Today, I'm reviewing the book Riding High by Ruth Zuckerman. So Ruth is the founder of both SoulCycle and Flywheel. I thought this was a great story. I will tell you though, it is hard to find biographies of female founders. So a lot of the female founders that I'm reviewing, like I don't exercise, I don't do SoulCycle. I don't understand the passion she has for what she is doing. Just like I don't know very much about IT when I did that book that Sandra had written. However, these stories, there are so many similarities of female founders as they grow their companies. Not like Ruth though. Ruth founded SoulCycle and then left SoulCycle and founded Flywheel, which I found very interesting. Like I didn't know Ruth's story at all. So I was just listening to it as an audible book. And I was like, I wonder what she's gonna do now (laughs) when she left SoulCycle. And then I didn't even know Flywheel was a second thing. So if you are, you know, an athlete and you want to learn about other athletes, they don't have to be in your athletic sport in order for you to learn more about them. I love listening to any founder, female founder of any kind of company. So if you have recommendations, I would love to hear them. Go ahead and leave those in the comments. So the subtitle of this is How I Kissed Soul Cycle Goodbye, Co-Founded Flywheel, and Built the Life I Always Wanted. There is a common theme in a lot of these entrepreneurial, female entrepreneurial stories where they're often trying to raise their family and raise their business and do hashtag all the things according to how they feel like they're supposed to do it or their investors say to do it or they see other people doing it. And along the way, they just break. (laughs) And after they break, they say, okay, well, if I had to start all over again, This is the part of this that I love. So when she left SoulCycle and then started Flywheel, she just kept all of the pieces that she loved, including being an instructor. So Ruth in 1996 had gotten divorced and went to spin classes in order to get some of her exercise out and some of her emotions out. And that's when she met her partners. And in 2006, she and her three partners started SoulCycle. She left three years later and then one year after that in 2010 started flywheel so if you're into exercising you're looking for a good female founder story you want to hear about how people leave one business and go to the next which i know happens often this is a great book for you to read Um, i'll be with you next monday with another book review subscribe and leave me comments on what books you think i should review next (music) 